Hey there guys, welcome back to Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. You may notice that I'm not wearing my usual cowboy getup right now. That's because I'm going to do the Bloodstone mission. Which will have you mining a whole lot. And this armor is just generally better for that purpose. Because it gives you a skill that makes it so that your pickaxes don't break as fast. And you can also get more stuff per like gathering spot. So yeah, if you're gonna do this mission, get the, uh, uh, what armor is this? Like, like, leather? I think it's leather. So just get that for all the, like, farming missions, it's pretty easy. And I have no idea what weapon I'm using for this, either. Doesn't really look like any particular monster we've killed so far. It's probably just, like, an iron katana or something. Not a very good weapon, anyway. Take a hot drink, not because it's really necessary, but just because uh, it saves time because your stamina is not going to run out as fast. Alright, what we're looking for here is bloodstones. You can find those in pretty much any pile of rocks in this area. There's a lot of mining spots in 5, 1 in 6, a couple in 7, and a couple in 4. You should get more than enough of stuff, and also lots of other good stuff like Isisium or Light Crystals, or Earth Crystals. You can pretty much get a whole lot of good stuff from this mission. And there we go, Bloodstones. Now, because this mining all, is all gonna be boring as crap, I'm just gonna cut it out. There we go, we're done. I had no idea how many you need to deliver, but don't worry, nothing interesting happened, like no big monster showed up to ruin my day or something. It was just about 10 minutes of me running around hitting piles of rocks with a pickaxe. And let's admit it, no one really wants to see that. So I cut it out, turned it into like 2 minutes of footage instead of 10 minutes. I am such a genius. Alright, see if the rewards are anything decent. I doubt it. Maybe some ores. Isisium. Ooh, a pickaxe. I can use that. Ooh, light crystal. I need that. Because now I can upgrade one of my weapons. And it's going to be a pretty good one. Also hilarious as hell. We'll just wait for it. Yes, we're going to get back to the village and then we'll go to the uh, blacksmith and he'll fix up, fix me up with a nice new longsword. Alright buddy. Upgrade. It is this thing and we're going to turn it into the chain slaughter. Because I still needed a light crystal. And that is what it looks like. For the brief glimpse, so we're going to see it like right now anyway. But yeah, it's a thunder long sword. That's going to be real helpful. And you can upgrade into a better version or an ice long sword. And there we go. It's a gigantic chainsaw. If that's not the coolest weapon ever, I don't know what is. And there we go, got my good suit of armor, because we're gonna go hunt some monsters now. Sure, it's still only small ones, but monsters are monsters. Also, it's an unstable quest, so I don't wanna get surprised by anything. Sure, it's only 20 baggies, but what if a great baggie shows up? Or God forbid, a la Gombi does. I am so screwed in that situation, also I forgot to eat, I think. Because if I did, my stamina would have gone up. Eh, it's a baggy mission. I probably can get by without eating. Uh, rations? Yeah, they'll give you rations anyway. So just use those to get your stamina up. Sure, eating doesn't cost a lot of money or resources, but still. I have to work hard for that money and those resources. So I'm not going to waste them. Now let's rev this baby up and skin some jaggies. Oh, look, it actually spins when you're holding it. Oh my god, I love this weapon. Oh, this shit is awesome. Alright, baggies. Prepare to be slaughtered. Oh god, it even makes chainsaw noises when you swing it. Oh man. Pretty sure this weapon wasn't in try because I would have noticed its badassness if that were the case. Oh man, this thing is just the greatest. Just look out, monsters. Here I come with a piece of electrical logging equipment which can also brutally murder you 
But yeah, for some reason they have the technology to create a working chainsaw in this universe. That's uh, quite weird. I don't know when chainsaws were like first invented, but I don't think they're like centuries old. Probably after the 1900s somewhere. I don't know. Not an expert on chainsaws. Although I did see the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Couldn't sleep that night. Not really worth it because it wasn't that great a movie. I think it was the reboot though, not the original. It was pretty bad. But yeah, at least now we're creating a very own Chainsaw Massacre right here in the tundra. And really the baggies had it coming. Their stupid sleep inducing poison. And their just never say die attitude like, eh, I don't care that you have a chainsaw that's bigger than I am, I'm going to attack you anyway. Also, he's really swinging it around quite easily for such a big ass chainsaw. I mean, hell, real life chainsaws aren't even that big. This thing's longer than I am. Eh, crap, I forgot to see how many I killed. Well, we're probably almost done anyway. Although I needed to kill 20, I think I only got like 6 or 7 so far. Oh well, might be some in Area 3. Yep, 3 more. No sign of any big monsters though. Hope that stays that way. Because I don't really think the Great Baggy or the Legombi give a crap about a thunder weapon. As far as like resistances go. Uh, and we're really screwed if another... With some of the bigger Tundra monsters show up. Because the Great Baggy and the Legombi are like at the bottom of the freaking food chain in this place. No, no, I'm wrong. The uh, the big mammoth looking things are at the bottom of the food chain. The Legombi is probably not much higher. The Great Baggy is probably above that. And then there's some nasty ass creatures that live here that you don't want to mess with. Although we will be messing with one in, I think, like three episodes. So yeah, that's gonna be good. First, we need to do the uh, Loggy Across Urgent thing, though. Which will be done in episode... Not the next one, but episode 26. Next episode, we will do the other quest that we missed. Which is... Uh, hunt a Baroth and a Great Jaggy at the same time. So yeah, if you like the Baroth fight a couple episodes back, then you're probably going to like the next episode. Although I don't think I'm going to be using the chainsaw against him because the Baroth does not care about your thunder weapons. Which I guess makes sense because he's covered in mud. So yeah, what was I? I think either the Kurapeko Gunlands or the Event Gunlands. So yeah, going to swap out Gunlands and Longsword from time to time. I'm actually considering picking up, like, a new weapon. Like, I was thinking about the hammer. Because it, uh... I've actually tried it a couple times, and it worked fairly well. So I have to get used to it a little bit. But it went alright, not that bad. And rip him in half. Not really, but it would have been awesome if that happened. But yeah, if I picked up the hammer now, then, uh... It wouldn't really show that often, show up that often in the uh, LP, because I have recorded, like, almost up to episode 80 by now, and I don't think there are, well, maybe a good 20 episodes after them, I think, I think this is gonna be, definitely gonna be my first LP that gets over 100 episodes, because it's just such a long-ass game. Anyway, Still haven't killed enough baggies. There are no baggies in here. Weird. Just giggies. Yep, freaking stupid giggies. They're everywhere. Except for the volcano flooded forest and deserts and misty peaks. I, oh well, at least they respawned in here so I can just kill them. Come on, baggy. Vroom, 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 vroom. See if your skull is about as cuttable that a word, cuttable, as that tree over there. Okay, need one more baggy. Probably in this area. Mm, no? No, oh, no, yeah, there they are. They're kind of camouflaged. Freaking everything's gray and white and bluish in here. It's 
not the best looking environment in the game. Oh, there we go, we're done. Now why do they give you like one minute after this? Like, uh, you don't even need the carving time with because it's a freaking baggie. You can only carve it once, it takes like two seconds. So what do they expect me to do for another freaking minute? Just swing the chainsaw like crazy. And try to cut Cha-Cha in half, maybe. And now for my next magic trick, I am going to cut my lovely assistant in half. Although he's not really suited for that, I suppose, because, hell, if I cut him in half, like, barely anything's gonna be remaining, because he's so tiny. Because his head is, like, as big as his torso and his legs. So disproportionate, Cha-Cha, what happened to you? I mean, look at him. That'd be one hell of a messy job to cut him in half. Anyway, Cha-Cha, let's cheer for the chainsaw. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip, because the chainsaw's so awesome. Hooray! And expect to be seeing the chainsaw a fair amount of times. Because it is my best thunder weapon right now. So any monster that's weak to thunder you can totally see it getting chainsawed to pieces in its respective episode. Until I get a better thunder weapon, that is, because it is outclassed by all the Log Icarus stuff, sadly. Oh well. Uh, thanks for watching this brief Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and bye bye Whatever.